Okay, hi everybody, George Bliss out here. You're seeing the pregame warm-ups. This is Circus. They won Forest Park two years ago. They're gonna go against the reigning national SSA champs, BTA. BTA won the toss. They're gonna be the home team. Here's the lineup for Circus. Brian Kornikowski, second base, Chris D'Agostino, DH, Timmy K, shortstop, Alex Chavez, catcher, Scotty Hordecki coming over from an old team, third base. Sean Burke, first base, Tony Valdez, center field, Joe Casa in right, Rojas in left, Trace Ruffy up the middle, and Jack Nakanish will be the pitcher. We're going to be standing at third base. We have a three-camera shoot today. Gio Vernazos is going to be on the uh, master control. There's Nakanishi. There's our guys. There's Rico. I'm going to slip a little bit over here. And I'm going to do right about here, and I'll be covering third. There's your guy, Chip Kornikowski, right there. There he is. Chippy, kind of considered the top-tier player, uh, MVP, I think, of Force Park, what, three, four years ago, something like that? Uh, yeah, he's, he's a great one. The brother of... Uh, None other than the great shortstop, Tim Kornkowski. SSA Broadcasts, our big sponsor, Gold Rush Gaming. And, of course, all other friends supporting us today at Westchester. Beautiful, beautiful park, Veterans Park. Western suburbs of Chicago. I believe it's called Veterans Park. Right, so God bless all the veterans out there. There's my guy, Chrissy Daggs. Chrissy Daggs on the on-deck circle. And we're going to go camera, home plate, first base, and then floater, me. I am kind of a floater. I've been known as a floater all my life. Here we go. BTA, big champs against Circus. That's Terrell Peterson on the mound. Peterson on the mound. First swing, cut right. In a dump. So there's your super player there. There's your guy, Kornikowski, flips it. They call it the flip right in front of the right fielder. How do you stop that? You can't. Here's Chrissy D'Agostino. Here's the DH. D'Agostino is going to obviously try to get uh, Chippy over to third if he can. So here's your big lefty, Chrissy Daggs. He swings at the first pitch. And that does go, that does slip through. And he's going to score. Here he is around third. And, whoa, Kornikowski, like a racehorse in the Kentucky Derby, scores. Run number one. Way to go, Chip. Here's Timmy Kornikowski, underrated shortstop. Won the big game in Forest Park two years ago with a monstrous home run. Number 90. Yes, the brother of Chippy. Here's your shortstop for Circus. Key position in this game is shortstop. You better be pretty good to win games if you're going to be at short. So I'm in at second on the runaway there. And then the slicing double. And here is number three better. He swings. He chops to the right side. And that's another flip that did not work. Yeah. Joe Manza, the referee, umpire, SSA sanctioned ump, is telling the guys to get in the ump, get in the uh, uh, get in the dugout. Yeah, they get a little crazy. Timmy Kornikowski flipped one foul. He delivers. He slaps down the middle. Another ball right up the middle. And he stops at third. Dag stops at third. No, no reason to score there with no outs. You don't want to get thrown out at home. You don't want to make the the, the first out at third or home. You, you got plenty of outs in front of you. Chavez, Alexo Chavez, your super catcher wearing number twenty-one. Let's see what he does. He swings the pitch one. He hammers one. He hammers one the left center. Here's going to be one run. Here's going to be another run. Kornikowski puffing in, and he rushes that one. Chavez put a charge in that one. 
So Chavez, catcher, hits it a ton. No chance to catch it. There's Timmy K right there. There's Dags right there. And here is a familiar guy, and already they're going to call a quick timeout. I'm just going to zoom in for you. A BTA uh, kind of try to calm down the situation here. That's Tony Ward. And a short meeting at the mound has concluded. Hi, Sean. There's our guy, Sean. Okay, let me go back to Scott Horodecki, one of the big stars at Flash, going way back to the Berwyn Cicero Leagues, and then Flash, a big star, Scott Horodecki, decided to come over to Circus after they made some changes over there at Flash. So Scott Horodecki is going to be batting here. He's a third baseman. He swings. He puts a backspin on it. Short right field. Caught. Runner moving. Runner makes it easily to third. Here's another famous face. Sean Burke. Sean Burke. Remember all those years he was on Miller? He played for Pat Caputo and other great teams. Now he's with Circus. Sean Burke, first baseman. He swings a pitch one. He hammers it. Down the right field line, foul. So Burke hammers the ball. Most hits so far have been hard. Tony Valdez will be next. Sean Burke with the cool beard. George is here with GOV, Pat Caputo, Ron Matriciano, Mike Choate. Taunchy is here. Everybody's here for SSA today. Here's Burke. Illegal, illegal folks, is more than 12 feet in the air. Bases are 60 feet. Mound is 38 feet. No glove softball. If you're watching from out of town, you're watching the world's greatest sport. You can forget soccer and hardball. This is the game. There's the ball. Second baseman. He does grab it, but hits it to the right side. Very fundamental. And in comes the runner. So, you know, that's where you want to go with it. No chance to play at home. Here's Tony Valdez, our center fielder. Valdez batting now at the bases clear. And there's four in, so a very, very good first inning. Valdez swings. Short stop through the wicket, through. And Valdez decides to stay at first on the error by E6. Joey Casa, C-A-S-A. Number 25, right fielder for Circus. Another lefty, so you got Burke and Casa. That's powerful, you know, in the middle, so you can get guys to counter rotate. As I mentioned earlier, that's Joe Monza controlling the flow of the game, the umpire of one of the best. He swings, ground ball up the middle, and that leaks through. And Valdez gets the third easily. So you see Valdez at third. Let's go with Jason Rojas. Rojas is the left fielder for the circus team. R-O-J-A-S, Rojas. He swings, tips it, misses it. Throw to first, foul ball. I don't think you could throw to first on the foul. I'll have to check that with the rules later. Rojas totally missed it, but it's not that unusual in softball if you're trying to do something unusual like tip the ball or cut it. If you miss it by an inch, you're going to miss it totally, but it's not that uncommon in this game. Now he swings. There's a line drive off the fingertips of the short center. And number Rojas, ball comes in. So put a little sting on it. See, one swing and he's back in the game. Here's Trace Rufi, Rufalino, the short center. Number 15, good looking man. Westchester, Illinois, Veterans Park, tournament of 
champions. This is what we call the winner's bracket game. Both of these teams have not lost yet. By the way, you get to lose twice in this game, then you're out. It's a double elimination concept here in Chicago. There's a swing. Rufi, shortstop, minor league bounce. And that was a beginning for Circus. As they batted uh, something like nine guys. Five zip. They're checking the score, by the way. All right, here's the lineups for BTA, world champions. Leonard Harris, Brian, Little B Blackwell, Wes Shannon, prevailing MVP in this game, folks. Watch this kid, Wes Shannon. Anthony Monaghan. Savante Samuel. Sorry, Savante. Tony Washington, Anthony Brewer, Arian Gibson, Jimmy Hobson, Terrell Peterson, the pitcher, Marion Jones, the right fielder. They've got a bunch of guys on the bench. We'll talk about that later. Tony Ward, and of course, Hall of Fame superstar is out there too, helping him out. Spider Ware, he's over there, I believe, at first base. Yes. Let's see what we got here. Nakanishi used to play lots of ball on A-level. Now he's a major star. And Nakanishi is uh, doing his job the last couple of years, pitching very well. Leonard Harris, Little B, West Shannon. Okay, so here's Leonard. Leonard steps in the box. George Bliss, third base camera. Geo behind home plate. And we got the remote at uh, first base. So we hope you're enjoying the broadcast on Facebook Live. Up in the box is Harris. Not can she delivers. Can't find home plate. Let's see if Jack has a little issue with the plate moving around. There's a pitch. Straight in, chop, cut, and it is down. So, great shot there by Leonard Harris. You see that overhand swing on the top of the tomahawk arc? That's what he does. He looks for that ball, and then he taps it over the short center, and it works. Here's little B, little B, number 11. There's more highlight reels on this guy than uh, most major league ball players. A great, great player. This is little B, Brian Blackwell, number 11. Let's see what little B does. Takes his time, a very crafty hitter. He's got big Wes Shannon behind him. So that's pretty powerful. That's a ball. They don't want anything in the in the uh, in the zone for big Brian. Let's see what little B does. If he can pick one out and crunch it. There's a strike. Just just behind the plate. Blackwell swings, does not like that swing, misses it. Center field, no issue. Tag up, no. Nope. So out number one, numero uno out. Here's your guy, Wes Shannon. Focus on this guy, ladies and gentlemen. Dominated last year at Joliet. I mean dominated. MVP, unanimous. And a great, great young player from the beautiful south side of Chicago. He takes a lot of batting practice on his own. He's, he's quite quite versatile with his bat. He swings, oh, he misses that one. He didn't like that swing. Right fielder comes in quickly for the catch. So two medium cans of corn by the champs, BTA. This would be Anthony Monahan. This is a big catcher. Another lefty here. Let's see what Anthony Monahan does. Anthony with a big, big, wide stance, way away from the plate. And that goes just inside, and that was in his wheelhouse if he swings at that one. So he's got a theory here, and he, he crushes that one. That's a major shot there. They hold that second. Throw back second. Nope. So Monahan, their big catcher, their big cleanup guy, comes through. 
Here's Samuels. Short center. He had a big tournament last year as well at Joliet. Let's see what Mr. Samuels can do. He swings. That ball straight away center. I believe playable. Yes. So three pretty routine fly balls off of Nakanishi scores a zero for BTA. Let's go to any number two top of. Let me zoom in here on this guy's going to bat. Nakanishi right here. There's Nakanishi going to bat here. Number five. And then right next to him is Chipster. Chippy will bat second this inning. So here you go, Nakanishi, Kornikowski, and Daggs, D'Agostino. So they're going uh, top of order, bottom of order, doesn't matter. They got some good players here. So they're talking defense. That's Orico telling Nakanishi about where players are playing, and that's great softball. They're telling him, oh, maybe the third baseman's a little bit deep. Maybe, you know, maybe you can cut one. Maybe you can chop one. That's great softball, folks. That's strategy softball. Okay, here's Nakanishi. Numero five. There's a one and one By the way, I wanted to mention that they do open with a 0-0 zero, zero count. Ball right side, second baseman, no problem. Easy hit. Easy ground out for Nash Aniki in reverse. Nash Aniki. Top of the order, Brian Korinkowski, also known as Chippy, wearing number 22. He swings at the first one with the cut to the left. Look at this guy hit. Look at this guy on the line. It's impossible to stop that. That was a slash to left. The left fielder has no chance of getting that ball. That's hitting, folks. That's 16-inch ball right there, baby. Here's Daggs. So same situation here. Daggs is going to try to move him. Daggs, third base. Cut down opposite way. They want a chippy to get the second without any issue. And he, it just foul. Go ahead. That's our guy, Timmy K. There's our guy, Timmy K, right there. There he is, ready for the on deck. Yeah, yeah, TT. Okay, baby. Dag says no, meaning no hit and run, so don't get stuck over there at first base. You can get picked off in 16 inch, and it's happened. So you got to be careful over there. No, he yells no, so no pitch. No pitch to swing, that means. D'Agostino swings. Third base, look at that. Splices the cheeseburger. Look at this guy, Kornikowski. I'm going to keep it at third. Chippy got from first to third, even though the ball was on in front of him. You don't see it that often, but there you have speed kills. He was The ball went to the left fielder, and he still made it to third. Okay, that is... That's impossible to stop. How do you stop that? That's a first and third of them right in front of you. So going back to my statistics, here is uh, Timmy K. He swings, he misses it, he dribbles at the left field. Of course, Chippy's going to tag easily. So not a really good swing by Timmy K, the shortstop, but it works. I mean, it gets to run in. Man at first does stay, by the way. Chavez, their big catcher who hit a nice shot last time. Alex Chavez, 21, number 21. He swings. That's hit deep and out of play. I'm all about I'm all about There's Chavez right there, waiting for the ball to come back in. Twenty-one, big fan behind me. 
Let's see what we got. Let's see what 21 can do here. He's swinging. That's hit hard. That's right center. Oh, it does evade the right fielder. And there's the double. So big smash there. Hard to handle. A lot of English on that ball. Right fielder couldn't get to it. So run scores. And here's Hordecki, and you got to watch him now because he'll, he'll swing full. He's going to go big. And I've seen him for years. He hits bombs. Let's see what Scotty does here. Third baseman came over this year to circus, Scotty Hordecki. He goes right side, and it is foul. Think, thinking to get the man to score, trying to get a dink single there. I'm a little surprised he didn't go for power, but that's why I don't coach these teams. You see number 32 in the box. You see the beautiful crowd out here at Westchester. And you see the entire TV crew working the master control. Donnie Rollins is here. And Horodeki. Joe Monza there. Umpire, umpire out in the field as well. Two umpires here. You really don't need more than that in softball. These guys run to the bases. They cover everything. Wonderful thing to do. Kardecki hits straight away, kind of got to the end of the bat, caught, ball comes in quickly. So, not big damage there, but nevertheless, Circus is putting the ball in play. And that would be uh, umpire panic, by the way. I, he's, I believe, one of the crew chiefs. We got Joe Caputo in the dugout. This is going to be Tommy Washington, basically a legend in the game. Tommy Washington has been just a, a superstar shortstop for a long, long time, and he has taken over the neighborhood bragging rights of the great Chicken Harrison. Remember Chicken Harrison, who now lives in Atlanta, I believe? This is the Tommy Washington of the 21st century, baby. So here's Tommy Washington, numero nine. He swings, ground ball, shortstop, Kornikowski. Fires, whoop, a little high, but Burke, the big guy, grabs it. So out number one. Tony Brewer up, Anthony Brewer. Brewer is their center fielder. He wears number 25. Brewer needs to get something going here. Get a ball down, get a single, get a couple in a row, string a couple of hits together. It's the way the game is played, point to point. Nakanishi with the basic. There's a ball to Nakanishi off his hands. Burke with the easy put out, and Nakanishi gets it. So one, three. There's a classic uh, softball play for you with a, it almost knocked the guy's head off at home plate, but he stopped it. Here's their pitcher, pitcher versus pitcher, Terrell Peterson. Terrell swings at pitch one, sends it to the left fielder, and that's caught, and that was a quickie inning. Boy, I'll tell you, Circus is rolling so far. Long way to go. Long, long way to go. 7-0 out here at Westchester Tournament of Champions. If you're just tuning in, seven circus, zero national champs, BTA. Third inning, this is the Westchester TOC Tournament, as we call it, 2023. And uh, the field is really nice. They have two diamonds out here. And again, some of you that are watching from out of town, we are in the suburbs of Chicago called Westchester. Not Westchester, New York, Westchester, Illinois. And we are exactly 20, 20, 20 miles west of downtown Chicago. So a 20 minute ride out the expressway, right in the middle of the western suburbs. Here's Burke. 
So Sean Burke, the first baseman, comes up here and any number three. He swings at the first one, cuts it, and nothing. Again, it looks like he was missing it, but he's trying to tap it over that first baseman's head to get a running double. That's the game here, folks, is the chop, the cut, the tomahawk, the underneath, the flip. You don't swing normally like you would in 12-inch. That's why this game has so many, so many nuances, too many to mention. You can also, also you can do a cross step. You can kind of watch his feet when he's batting, kind of a cross step when he swings. There's a swing, and that's going to be a single. Tony Valdez will try to pick it up. I'm going to switch over just a little bit. So you can see the third base dog out. If there's a single here, I'll show you action at third. Could be a slide in, could be a tag. We'll find out. There's the coach over there. No outs. You know he's going to probably go to the right side, which is very important in this game to get those runners over and in. Zero out. There's the pitch. He swings right side off the hand of the first baseman. Nice play there by first. Serve the unassisted out. Does get the runner to second. Joey Casa here. Right in front of me is the the great players, but here's Casa. Casa swings pitch one. Coppa. Oh, double play. There's Tommy Washington that I told you about. There's the man, the legend, Tommy Washington. Grabs it and doubles it off, and we did get it on camera. Gio, yes, all right. Nice, nice, Tommy Washington. It jazzes him up pretty good. How does he do that? How? How does he catch that ball? Well, you saw it with your own eyes here on SSA Broadcast. A line drive that gets through in most games. He grabs it and flips it to the short center for the double off. Wow. Holy God of heaven. Beautiful. I just, I'm speechless. I'm telling you, these guys, you can see why BTA is one of the top teams. Ariane Gibson, here we go. Ariane Gibson. Here's Gibby. Let's see what he does. I'm wearing number five. He swings. Nope, he holds back his wrist. It is a strike. He was ready to cut with it, but didn't decided not to go. Nakanishi, swing, ground ball to second. Quick release over there. Burke, no problem at first. So of course that was Chippy over at second base. He does everything. He generally plays outfield, but they got him at second base today. Here's James Hobson. Hobson swings. Caught and left. So a ground out and a fly out. And, and, and Nakanishi's working quickly. There we go, number 26. There's Marin Jones. Jones, the right fielder. Quick pitch. Calls it a strike. You got to be careful. Nakanishi likes to quick it in. He likes to do that. One on one. The right fielder in the box. He's swinging. Chops it down. In quickly the short center. Rufi cannot handle it. So an infield single for Jones. So there you go. Leonard Harris now. Here's Leonard. Leonard needs a gapper now. Get that first run. Crack the eggshell, brother. 
Leonard Harris, first baseman. Let's see what Leonard does. Leonard swings. Line drive to Burke for the out. So great defense by Circus. Super, super. Still 7 0. Top of four. There you see your circus players. I am on third base. They're talking the wind out here. 44 is discussing the wind. It's shifting. So 44. Rojas is explaining the wind shift to his uh, co workers. And that brings up Rojas. There's your BTA team right there. There's Rojas. Let's see what Rojas can do. Rojas swings at the first one, right center. Catchable, yes. Caught out there by the right fielder for BTA. That's Jones out and right, by the way. Here's Rufi. Here's the roofer. He swings at pitch one. Tommy Washington off his fingertip. Can't grab it. So infield hit. Infield hit. Here's Nakanishi. They have three guys on the bench. Circus does. They do have Joe Caputo. I don't know if he's injured or not, but he's there somewhere. That's Caputo, by the way, coaching at first. I'll get him in a minute. Nakanishi with the man on first. He swings right side. Caught. Great catch there at second base. Nice try by Jack to get it over the outfield, but the second baseman was there. That's Gibson. Gibson jumped up in the air and got that one. All right. Chippy Kornkowski is looking at the field. That's dangerous because if he's looking at a little gap, he'll go there. Believe me when I tell you, he'll go there. He's looking right center. If he goes right center, there he's going right foul, right side. Oh, he just tried to dink it. They call that a flip. You're literally flipping your wrists, just trying to tap the ball over the first baseman's head. I know back in the day, when I was uh, on television way back, what, what 600 years ago, uh, Dave Rule was very good at flipping the ball. So was Keith Filkins. So remember those names for history, folks. Filkins and Rule. Chippy, right side, down. Just an absolute surgeon. And third base made easily by Rufi. Just a surgeon at the plate. I'm going to start calling him Surgeon Chippy. If you ever need a surgeon, we're going to call Chippy for that big operation. Okay, here we go. Chrissy Daggs, kind of a well-known figure in Rosemont. He swings off the pitcher's fingertips. No play, run scores. Rufy scores. Nice stop there by the pitcher. Hard to stop it. So an infield hit off the fingertips of the pitcher. Hit like a bullet. Again, with a glove, you get it. Without a glove, you're a man, okay? All you folks watching out of town, throw those damn gloves in the garbage can. Kornikowski slaps at the third. Evaded. Chippy Kornikowski, fast as can be, scores. So I, an error there at third. That was that was catchable. There's the chipper. So there's our guy.
number 21. Alex Chavez has had a big game, big power game. Circus in command. They got the carnival going here. It's a three-ring circus today for hits. He swings. Oh, he went all the way on that and missed it by a lot. Way out of play, but he missed it. He, he got a gift there. That was He didn't get any piece of that. He's a little bit quick on the swing. You know, the key is the, the ball looks like a balloon and you want to swing. Well, Rama Trishia always told me, the great hitter, you got to keep your hands high so it takes just an instant more to contact the ball. When your hands are low, you might be a little ahead of it. There, he's got it now, up the short center. Fires the first. So nice play there defensively. But Circus is rolling. 9-0. Let's go to bottom of four. We're about halfway, roughly. 9-0. You see Jack Nakanishi warming up with his catcher, Chavez. Takes about two quick pitches. The games move quickly here, which is why we like it. There's no delay in this game. They pitch and they go. So we're going to go. I'm going to go a little tight on Brian Blackwell because I want you to see him, what little B can do. Brian Blackwell playing left field today for World Champ BTA. As I told you earlier, Little B is a very patient hitter. He looks for the one pitch and he crushes it. He doesn't worry about the count at all. He swings at this one and that's hit hard to left. Caught out there in left field. So Blackwell with a nice Hard liner, caught by the left fielder. Here's your guy, Wes Shannon. Wes Shannon, I saw him the other day driving into Westchester. He has one of those cool slingshot convertibles, one of those three-wheel vehicles. He's the coolest dude in, in, in town, Wes Shannon. Here's your guy, number 32. He swings. There's your hit. There's, there's, and there goes Shannon, the second. So there's your, there's your great player trying to get this team motivated. There's Russ Shannon with the big swing there. Okay, I'm going to watch third base for you because Russ is going to be steaming over there. Here's the big catcher. He needs to put a little charge in this one. See if he can get one in the gap. Break, break the eggshell here. Nakanishi delivers way inside. George Bliss here. Softball is the greatest game in America, as they say many times, but your greatest association is the SSA. And I don't mean Social Security. I mean Slow Pitch Softball Association. Look us up, folks, on Google. Please, if you're listening online, tag into our Facebook. There's a hit. That's deep. That's hit hard. That's a bomb. And, oh, way out there, about 283. There's going to be a double tag up. And West came in all the way for second base. So that's 120 foot there, 60 and 60. And there was no play because that ball was deep. So it's a good ball. It's a good ball. It's a good RBI. Here's Samuels. Savante Samuels. He's their short center. Let's see if he can get a ball in the gap. They just broke the run here. They got, they've scored one, BTA. There's a swing up the middle. Chipper. Kornikowski's quick at second. How's that for our second baseman? Wow. So, defense. Sticky as glue out there for Circus. Really, really tough to get the ball through the infield. Nine-one here. Top of five. 
Winner's Bracket Final, Tournament of Champions, gorgeous May Day 2023. And thank you for watching all over the world. I know we have something like 25,000 members that watch these games on various times. Various click, the internet and FaceTime has literally changed the world for high school sports, college sports, and of course, recreational sports and 16 and softball. It's been a blessing because uh, years ago it was so expensive to go on TV. Now we have our own crew, we have our own cameras. The technology is moving quickly. And another couple of years and we're gonna have 6G, I think they call it. And we're gonna be all over the darn place. Here's Scott Hordecki. Hordecki, third baseman, looking to put a charge in the one. Way short, the ball must cross, by the way, the back tip of home plate, if you were asking. He swings at this one, right side. Pitcher does get it. Nice play there. Wow. Excellent. Kicked it over like a kick save. Here's Big Burke. Folks, if you, if you, love, if you love television or radio in your Chicago area, hey, contact me, George Bliss. I'm on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Come on out and help us with the crew. Jerry Brown, hopefully you'll come out and help us. Sean Burke, same thing, swing to the right side. You know, young students at DePaul, Loyola, U of I, UFC, all the colleges around here. You like radio and TV and you want to do a little sports, come on out because we love volunteers. We'll teach you the 16-inch game. And then Gio will buy you a steak dinner at one of the lettuce restaurants. So it'll be good. Contact us. George Bliss, I'm on Facebook. Yes, my phone number's on there. So if somebody wants to call me at midnight, so be it. Here's Burke. <clears throat> They're moving the right fielder back. And that was a smart idea because Burke was going to full swing it, but pop up in the sun. For the out. Valdez batting. Here's Tony Valdez, wearing number 33. His number upside down is EE. E. Game moving relatively quickly out here. There's a ground ball to the super shortstop, Tommy Washington. Fires the first, smooth as silk, that guy, Washington. I'm telling you. So. They stopped the net inning, nine to one, bottom of five. Nice crowd here today, beautiful Westchester. Field game going on over there at the other field. This is gonna be the great one. This is this is your super shortstop on the best team, Tommy Washington. I know he's a great player. You know, you, I'll tell you, all the major teams would like to have this guy. You know, you got some great shortstops in your day, and I could name them, and I won't bore everybody. But this kid's really right up there. He's quite good, Tommy Washington. He looks like a ball player. BTA shortstop, Tommy Washington. On the plate, automatically a ball, if the ball does hit the plate, it's an automatic ball. They move quickly here, Nakanishi, one of his aspects is he moves quickly. He doesn't wave, he doesn't jump off, he doesn't drag, he doesn't take his time. He's ready to fire the ball, which I think is a good thing. Illegal meaning too high. That was more than 12 feet, allegedly. And he yelled out illegal right away, which is an automatic ball. Swing, left center. Off the fingertips of the left fielder. Tommy Washington makes it. And Chippy and him having a little fun. Two superstars out there. 
So there's Washington with a nice, nice shot. Hard to handle, had a lot of English on it. Anthony Brewer. Brewer swings, goes to the right side. Way foul. Ball is going to be thrown in here. You see the broadcast crew. You see the TV station control center over there behind the screen. We go back to the batter's box, basically. You got uh, 25 in there. Brewer. Brewer, ground ball up the middle. It does skip through. So here's Tommy Washington. And Tommy, with that nice opening hit, does break it again. So two runs now in for BTA. Okay, you got a pinch hitter here. I don't see his name on the roster. 69. I'm sorry, Terrell Peterson. I see it now. Terrell, fly to right, out, throw to second. So I, I couldn't pick up Terrell's number in the sun. Now I got it. That was Terrell Peterson, the pitcher, who flew to right. The runner moved up. Number five, swings, fly to center, out, throw back, safe. So Gibson lines to the center fielder. Here's 99, Hobson. Two outs for Hobson, number 99, wearing the hat backwards, Yankee hat. Got the cool green socks. He's the third baseman, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful weather at Westchester. George Bliss bringing to the game. Softball, ground ball up the middle. Grabbed by Rufi. Throws to Burke. Yes. One step, but he's got him. Great defense by Circus. Their game is, is defense. They don't make too many dumb mistakes. They've had one miscue, and that's it. 9-2, two, 9-2. Two. Casa's going to bat here. George Bliss here introducing number 25, now batting... Joey Casa. My Casa, your Casa. How does that song go? Right fielder for the circus team. BTA doesn't have a lot of offense yet today. But the key word there is yet. They still got some time. And they come up with a big one because yesterday BTA was way behind and they came from nowhere to win. I think they got 10 in one inning. So it happens all the time. Ground ball, pitcher back. Great play there defensively by their pitcher. He was positioned correctly. Rojas is going to bat now. Jason Rojas. Let's see what Rojas does. He swings. That's hit hard. Oh, foul, but not by much. Not by much. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm thinking I better position him to hit the ball to the left because he hits hard. I'm going to slide up just a bit, folks. I know we have the multi-camera. So Rojas is going to try it again here with one strike. BTA in the blue, Circus in the, basically the white. The opposite way he goes. So there you go. He fooled everybody. He went the opposite way and got the single in the hole between second and first. So that's real softball, folks. 
He goes left and then he goes right. Hard to defend, huh? That's for sure. Here's Dick Tracy Rufy. Strike one. Sun coming out now, up in the 80s at this point, I believe. Nice and warm. There's a ball up the middle. Second baseman. One, two. Oh, big defense by BTA. Big defense. That was a hard shot. Second baseman grabbed it, and ba-boom. The double play. Wow. Rufi has doubled off there. So, BTA with a little life defensively here. We go to bottom of six, nine, two. I know that uh, the umpire once in comes over just to double check the scorebook, which is a good thing. It is nine to two, confirmed. Both benches keeping notes, and of course, behind home plate, we have a great scorekeeper as well that watches the whole game. So we got everything going on here, folks. SSA softball. Here we go. Here's Mr. Jones. I wrote a song about this guy one time. It was pretty popular. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Marin Jones, right fielder. Three straight pitches. There's a strike. Nakanishi is working very quickly today. He doesn't wait, he throws. Three and one. Let's see if Jones can take a walk here. There's a strike, three, two. Slap, middle, Rufy. Ooh, whoa, safe. Oh man, he ran that out. There you go. So, good call there by Panic. Me and Mr. Jones. He's got a thing going on. It's called running fast. So good job there by Marin. That brings us to the top of the order. This could be a breakthrough. They need to take advantage. How many times have you been told this in sports? When you got a guy on to start the inning, you've got to do something. you got to move him over and get him in. Hit and run. Swing and a miss. He's stuck at first. That's it. That's an out. So hit and run. I don't know if Nakanishi saw it, but he threw a wild pitch. The, pit, the swinger swung and missed at it, but out at first. So there's a hit and run that did not work. You got to make contact there. You saw what happened. Nakanishi threw a ball kind of unhittable. The runner was halfway to second. And as soon as the catcher grabbed it, he fired the first of the easy out. Ground ball to third, fires the first. There's an out. So 32 over to Burke. Hordecki fired one to Burke. Hordecki to Burke. Boy, that really killed the rally, that, that, that hit and run miscue. Here's their guy, little B, number 11. He swings, and there's the hit past Chippy. So little B goes single. Here's Wes Shannon, who had a nice hit the last time up. Can he get his co-superstar around? Let's see what Wes can do. Let's see if Wes goes strong. Shannon, yeah, that's a hit. That's a hard hit up the middle. Little B doesn't go. He would have been thrown out. Little B holds because Timmy K took a look at him. So now Shannon came up with the big power hit there. There's no way you stop that ball. So first and third. Here's their big catcher. Monahan, two outs. They need a gapper now. A gapper would be sweet. Oh, strike one there, kind of deep, but he calls the strike. Two outs. Illegal. 
ball. Joe Monza behind home plate. Jack Nekonishi delivering. There's a swing, ground ball. Chippy's way deep. He throws the first. Safe at first. So, yeah, the run does score on the infield signal. They got Wes in a pinch. He's back. Wes almost got pinched there. So Wes Shannon got caught in the middle but did get back quickly. And he is safe. Brian Panic calls him safe. Safe at first as Chippy was super deep there. There's a swing, left field, caught. So, a couple runs there in the home half of sixth. That would be nine to three. There's John Doss, their manager. I think he's going to make a quick change. Let's see what he's going to do here. You got a change, coach? No, okay. Just to... Yeah, we're going to have a Rico bat here. A Rico will bat. Number 12 is going to bat. There's that good looking man, Arico. So we got a batter here, number 12, Arico. Richie Orico, legendary Melrose Park guy. He swings at the first one, he slaps it down to the short center. He's firing the first. Out. So Arico slept at the first pitch, trying to get a chop hit. One step short of it. We go to the top of the order. Chipster Kornkowski. This is top of seven, folks. If you're just tuning in, Circus has been flawless on defense except for one minor miscue, and they are beating the world champs. 9-3 is Joey Daggs, Chrissy Daggs, uh, just behind me here. Chipper, shortstop, minor league bounce, fires, whoa, man, he put a, he put a, he put a fireball on that throw. <laughs> well, they had Chippy running, so they had to put a little steam on that throw. Chris, Chicago's finest D'Agostino, and now is a Rosemont police officer. And if anybody's never heard of Rosemont, I don't know what world you're in, but it's a famous town near Ohio Airport in Chicago. He's a police officer there. I'd say he's one of the better police players in the city. So there's a swing, left field, way foul. So take a look at the DH. That's his name, Chrissy D'Agostino. Rosemont finest. I believe he got MVP. Of, yeah, he did two years ago. Two years ago, this good-looking stud was MVP of the No Glove Nationals, which is coming up here in July. So come on out to the No Glove Nationals. Line drive, first baseman. Oh. Great play by the first baseman. Great, great play. We got that on the screen. That's awesome. So, great defense there by our good friends from BTA. That's going to bring it to this, folks. That's going to bring it to this. Very simple. They need six to tie, seven to go ahead. Six to tie, seven to go ahead. Home half of inning number seven. BTA holding on to that national championship at Joliet, which was so exciting last year. Here's their star, Tommy Washington. Let's see if Tommy can ignite a rally here. Yep, they need a runner. Spider Ware, the great coach at first base. Tony Wards crossing their fingers. They know they got a star up there now. Here's number nine. Again, Nakanishi versus Tommy Washington. Of 
Crowd silent, looking for a miracle here. There's a strike. Tommy's waiting for something fat. He's going to go big for it. There it is. Nope. Wow, jeez, uh, I'm right next to it. It looked like a strike to me, but how, what the hell do I know? Washington taking. Oh, he does go full count. So, you know, get ready for the swing. Here we go. Nope, it was just inside. Just inside. So that's a ball. Here's Brewer. So the opening walk on the three and two count. Nakanishi, based on balls to their super shortstop. Now is Anthony Brewer, their center fielder. Let's see what Anthony can do. There's a strike. Let's see if they can wait out Jack a little bit. Maybe get a long count here. There's a swing. Foul. Brew turned on that heavy. This is it, folks. BTA needs a ton. I know they're lining up some uh, pinch hitters just in case. Brewer swings, ground ball, third baseman. Fires the first. They do get the sure out at first. Man does move to second. So third baseman fires over to Sean Burke. That's Scotty Hordecki. He throws the ball hard. Pinch hitter for BTA. Number 74. Here we go, 74 batting. Oh, this is Mac. Yeah, Mac, famous player. Here's Mac. Mac swing. Oh, he hits a hammer ball. Is he going to try to score? Yeah, they're going to concede that run. So Mac comes up with a freaking crusher. 74 goes smasheroo there. Here's Brown Low. Brown Low batting. Let's see what they can do here with the man on first. Run just scored on that big smash by Mac. Here's Brown Low, num numero uno, number one. He swings. That falls in the outfield. And they're not going to, yeah, nice throw into the uh, shortstop. So first and second. So good, smart running there. Nothing crazy by BTA. I think, I, let's see who we got here now. Time out, Joe. Time out, Joe. Time out. Time out called by Circus just to slow down the BTA national champs. That's J.D. John Doss. Common thing in softball, just get him going. Here we go. One out. Here we go. Jimmy Hobson batting. Hobson didn't like that. Let's see if he can make up for it. He swings. Ball to Kornikowski, throw to first, out two. So Kornikowski took the sure out on the uh, St. Rita bounce. And that brings it to two outs, 9-4. Here's Mar Jones, who's played a great game, making good contact with the ball. Oh, Jones being patient, but takes a strike by Nakanishi. He swings. Foul ball. That was a try to cut it in front of the left fielder. Didn't work. Here we go. Illegal pitch for the ball. Let's see what Nakanishi does. Double hesitation. He swings. Fly ball. Oh, it falls. It falls. It falls. 
two run score. Two outs, two run score. Oh my. Here we got a game. We got a game. Me and Mrs. Jones. The super right fielder gets the big hit. Scores two. It's a nine to six game with a man on first base. So Jones. Me and Mr. Jones. Leonard Harris here, the top of the order. Leonard swings. Pop ball the second. Ah, Chippy's got it. So a little, little late rally there, 9-6. Final score, Circus 9. World champion BTA 6. I'll get about two seconds of data here from... Their main manager now, John Doss. And we'll flip it back to the studio where Gio is preparing for the upcoming games at our SSA headquarters. There's your congratulation line, I think you call it. George Bliss here. I had a blast broadcasting. I want to thank you for watching. There's Tony Ward. And we'll try to, there's uh, Sean Burke and all the guys. So congratulations to the circus. They are the winner's bracket finalists. That means they got to wait a little bit. Coach, just two seconds. Very, very, very good defense. Yeah, we played well today. Uh, this team's hitting. They're hitting all weekend. I tell you, if they have their team here, the entire team are tough to beat. They really are. Well, you beat the world champs, right? I mean, some superstars on that team. It's a tough team we just played, and they, you know, they came off an emotional game last night. We took advantage of it, so thanks, George. We'll All right, see you next game. That's John Doss. Thank you for watching, everybody. George Bliss, play softball. It's the greatest game in America. We'll see you.